good day. So our topic, uh, word drawing for today is uh, isometric drawing. So in drawing isometric, we have first is we have to provide a horizontal line. Then using your triangle, you have to draw vertical line. So this time, draw in drawing isometric, we are or oh, we will be using axis so meaning we have here our well, this vertical line is what we call now as the vertical axis so the together with the vertical axis position your tri, uh, 30 degrees triangle along the your with your t square so that you will draw the 30 degrees right cross axis so, in drawing your 30 degrees right cross axis, play, uh, you have to locate the intersection of the vertical and your horizontal. So, this is now what we call as 30 degrees right cross axis. And on the other side, you have to draw another, which is what we will call as the 30 degrees left cross axis. So, uh, in my presentation, I am draw, I am using darker lines, although it is not allowed in our subject, but to show you uh, the clear presentation of this axis, I am using a darker lines. So in our uh, vertical axis, 30 degrees right cross axis and the 30 degrees left cross axis, this have this has a uh, specific assignment so going back to our orthographic drawing we have our thickness in our orthographic the width of the orthographic and the length of the object so the the thickness of the object in our orthographic drawing one we have uh, three centimeters while the width of the object is four centimeters and the length of the object is 4.5 centimeters. So these dimensions or measurement, which is found in our orthographic, has its specific location in our isometric drawing. So the thickness of the object, you have to uh, see to it that it should be assigned on the specific location. So the thickness will be assigned along the vertical axis so you have to measure three centimeters along the vertical axis so this is now my three centimeters on the le uh, 30 degrees right cross we have to assign the four centimeters so Please take note of how I positioned my measuring device when you will be laying out the measurement in drawing isometric. You have to position your measuring device parallel to the line to be measured. So I am going to measure the 30 degrees right cross. So therefore, the position of my 30 degrees right cross is inclined. So, meaning to say, I have to position the measuring device along this line. The same as in the 30 degrees left, I have to measure 4.5. So, this is my 4.5. Once uh, you have laid out all this measurement, you will be drawing the isometric box. So, on the 30 degrees right cross... We have our 4 centimeters. So, what you're going to do is to draw vertical axis. On the other side, 4.5 centimeters, another vertical axis. Now, on the thickness or on the vertical axis part, position your triangle like this. Be sure that your T square is always supporting your triangle. So, this is the markings or the location of your point. So, 
you have to draw a 30 degrees right and adjust the positioning of your triangle so that you will be drawing the 30 degrees left now our problem is where are we going or how are we going to project the top view because we have here our front view as well as the side view of the object so how to project the top view so you have to locate the intersection of your th uh, vertical on the left side as well as the inter uh, as well as the 30 degrees left cross axis so this is the intersection so therefore you have to position your triangle on this intersection so that you will be projecting a 30 degrees right cross on the other side the 30 degrees left i uh, right cross i mean plus the third uh, the vertical axis on the right side intersection so position your triangle along this intersection so that you will be drawing your 30 degrees right cross so that now solves our problem on how to create the top view so this is now our top view now since we have completed drawing the isometric box our problem is how are we going to apply the details of the object along the thickness of the object we have a measurement of 1.5 so we have to measure 1.5 along the vertical axis then position your triangle 30 degrees le left and another 30 degrees right so this now becomes the uh, thickness or the base of our isometric drawing so that it is uh, easier for us to analyze the object what we're going to do is to create the base by simply using darker lines or else you have you can uh, use your uh, my gel pen or ball pen so we can now identify the base of the object by simply drawing darker lines or your my gel ball pen so this is now the base of the object so to identify uh, the square on the top view so we have to measure from this location intersection of your 30 degrees right and left you have to measure 1.5 then on the other side 1.5 so that you can locate the square that is found on the top view so this is now the square on the top view once you have located the square on the top view you have to project a vertical axis on the intersections of your 30 degrees left and right respectively then the thickness of the object or the base of the object is 1.5 so you have to project a 30 degrees left like right cross axis and on the other side project a 30 degrees left cross now upon analyzing i we have here our intersection so what we're going to do is to get this intersection then project a 30 degrees right and on the other side 30 uh 30 degrees right i mean and the uh on the other side this is the left so me uh when you are going to inspect your figure this is what this is what will happen to the figure 
So, we have here our intersection. So, you can now finalize your drawing by simply using darker lines or else using your my gel ball pen. So, top view, final, final, then change the position of the triangle so that you can identify the top square. Then, draw your vertical axis. On the other side, just follow the position or the proper positioning of the pencil. Then, to finalize our presentation, we have to final the edges of the object. So, this is now our plate number one, isometric drawing, which will be included in our uh, plate number one, orthographic. So, this will be placed on the right side of your drawing paper. And one thing you have to remember that we are not allowed to erase the construction lines in drawing isometric. So leave it as uh, construction lines. No erasures to be made. 